Hi, it's Josh Hinkle with Hudson and Castle Law, 302-428-880, nursinghomelawyermeeting.com. I'm here today to talk to you briefly about the state of Delaware nursing homes and the impact of COVID-19. COVID-19 is running rampant in Delaware nursing homes. About 75% of the cases in Delaware at the time of this recording are nursing home related cases. People that go into the nursing homes may have been there for a short-term rehab stay, such as a hip replacement, where they needed physical therapy or occupational therapy, or they may have been in the nursing home for a long-term stay for Alzheimer's or other conditions. That doesn't give the nursing homes an excuse, and it's unfortunate what's happened in nursing homes because they were ill-equipped and ill-prepared to handle the COVID-19 pandemic. Now, we're not blaming the staff members that work at the nursing homes because they are put in a position where they can't handle the cases that come to them with COVID-19. Most of the nursing homes in Delaware are for-profit centers, and those profit-driven centers are there to maximize profits for shareholders. The best way of doing that is to cut staff and to cut supplies to staff. This has been a years-long process that has ramped up and has become the perfect storm. And unfortunately, the victims in Delaware nursing homes are the residents, their families, and the staff members. The corporate greed in Delaware has gone long enough, and we are investigating many COVID-19 related deaths in Delaware nursing homes, and welcome you to contact me. If you have any questions or think you may have a case, you can call 302-428-8800, or you can book a meeting directly on my calendar at nursinghomelawyermeeting.com. Thanks a lot. Bye.